Jules Conde to Chelsea is still on, people. Let's get into today's video. Hello, guys. Subscribe to Worldwide Chelsea. I would watch Chelsea. Worldwide Chelsea. Subscribe to Worldwide Chelsea. Thank you for your support. Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video of mine. Doing this video during my lunch break at work. I told you guys Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the office, but it doesn't matter. We keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news. Updates on Conde's situation at Chelsea, whether he's joining or not. The sumo of Tottenham people, is that a massive loss for us? Who are we going to be signing, people? A lot more on Lukaku and more other topics. Guys, you don't know how it goes. For the support the channel, like the video, people. One click, people. One click helps out the channel. It is free. Please do subscribe as well and hit the bell notification. If we manage to hit 25k subscribers by the end of the 15th of June night, then there'll be a giveaway. People, we are less than 150 away. Let's try here as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's get straight into the top. Now, yesterday, yesterday night, actually, 12 a.m., 11:30 p.m. UK time. I kind of put a video out. I don't usually put videos that late, but we put one on Jules Kunde. Got injuries, got a long-term injury that Seville and Chelsea were actually aware of and that he will be taking surgery. So we have updates today. Chelsea will push for the Kunde deal as soon as uh, they get feedback that the minor surgery was a success. The deal will still cost around £55 million pounds and Kunde could be fit in three to four weeks. Now, of course, why did he play yesterday? You know, I don't really understand why Desham always does this. Whether it's Kante, now Kunde... We're going to be seeing these players, if they play for France, the same thing, if you know what I mean. Dembele, you know, I'm sure in a year's time when Dembele is at Chelsea, we're going to be saying about the same thing as well. So, guys, it is, it's not the worst news, of course. Uh, hopefully the surgery is successful, it's positive, and then Chelsea will still get their man. Now, yesterday, of course, on the video saying that, you know, we should be a bit worried. Maybe we could get the price down or something. A lot of you guys in the comments were saying we should avoid him. Uh, I don't think that's the right move. Obviously, we still should still sign him for sure. It is a good amount of value, of course. So we are still keeping up to date on that one. Now, of course, I'm only on one screen today. So please forgive me looking away from the camera, trying to get this sorted and up to date. So the next topic, a bit of a silly one. With Charleston, people. With Charleston to Chelsea. I know a lot of YouTubers out there have been putting videos about him to Chelsea. Uh, he would prefer a move to Chelsea or Tottenham, despite interest from Real Madrid. Real Madrid want Richarlison. That's a bit of a weird one. Now, listen, he's very, very inconsistent. Very, very inconsistent. I think sometimes he's good. Uh, he's not a bad player. Um, would he Would he even get into any of the top six teams? I don't think so. I don't even think he's better than some of our wingers currently. And our wingers currently are not even that good. So that's the levels. Now, it kind of reminds me of, how can I say, a bit of a crybaby as well. Diving, you know, all, I don't really want that at Chelsea Football Club. And 50 million plus doesn't really make sense. So for me, it's a no-no. I don't want to see that. You know, the Lampard connection as well. Chelsea trying to get that deal sorted. No thanks. We don't need that. Okay. So for me, guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think. Charleston to Chelsea, yes or no? And on to my next topic is obviously the one and only Romelu Lukaku. Where are we with this guy? Every single day, there's something new about him. Let's see this. Romelu Lukaku will fly to London to free himself of Chelsea. With, the, with his priority to return to Inter Milan, he will devote himself to his summer goal to return to Inter. Chelsea's 25 million loan. Euros fee request is far from Inter's availability, but the Serie A now understand that they must pay for the loan move. Well, I knew that personally. I'm sure all you guys knew that as well. You know, it's not rocket science, people. We need that deal to be done ASAP. He wants you guys since December. Come and take him. I'll take him to the airport, even. I'll take him to the airport. You hear me? Now, honestly, man, I've got people around me. I don't care. Lukaku must go, people. He must leave this summer transfer it is very very important um as, as i said it should be a two-year loan deal we're still waiting but it must include the obligation to buy they don't want to do no swap deals with other players like loftus sheet with scarinia until 
you know, they basically want to reinvest the money, of course. So they need money. They need money. They, they look to sell players. Uh, Skorinia could be around 50 million. And obviously other targets around different clubs. We're looking at Kula Bali of 40 million euros. And there is another topic that we do need to get into as well. Um, Declan Rice, people. Declan Rice is someone that I do want to speak about. First of all, Basuma is joining Tottenham. £25 million. Pounds. I think it's a very, very good move in terms of financial footballing reasons. But he still has a court case going on. You know, I, Do we really want that at Chelsea Football Club? Maybe not. Maybe that's why we're putting it on pause. So, for now, uh, obviously, in terms of signing midfielder, it's not looking good. And we need to get rid of a midfielder as well, whether it's J5, Kante on a pay cut, maybe. We don't know. Kovac is still here as well. He's going to be playing first team football. Gallagher coming back, you've got Money Mace. Depends on the formation. What midfielder can we actually bring in? So Declan Rice, you know, talks will open at £75 million. Pounds. That's going to be uh, the starting price, of course. It's going to be going up. Maybe 80, 85 will be just about okay for Chelsea fans. But in general, it would not make sense to spend over £100 million. Pounds. We're also linked with other players. I'll bring up here, which we are aware of. But it's good just to make sure that we're aware of each one. If we can bring it here, where is it? Yeah, West Ham's declaration is Chelsea's target in central midfield with Leipzig's uh, Christopher Nkunku, Bayern Munich's uh, Robert Lewandowski, Man City Dural, Gabriel Jesus and Raheem Sterling could be options to bolster the attack. So we are still waiting, you know, to hear about what's next. You know, I, I was hearing prepare a new bid for Nkunku. We're still waiting. Robert Lewandowski was past to learn about, you know, plan B could be PSG and Chelsea. 50 million euros is what Bayern Munich want. No installments, straight fee they want. I think that's a good deal in today's market for a goal scorer that's proven, that's world class. I understand the German tax, but he doesn't he doesn't fit that for sure. So Robert Lewandowski would make sense short term. Gabriel Jesus would make sense for a free position player. So he could play on the left, he could play on the right, he could play down the middle. And we can change the look of Chelsea's attack for sure. So that is where we are right now, people. Um, and Sterling, of course, maybe Sterling, although he has over 150 goals, probably should avoid. Probably should avoid. For me, it's an upgrade on, on Werner. But Werner, it's not easy. It's, it's not difficult to be better than Timo Werner right now. He's not at his best form, of course, off the ball. I'm impressed with his runs. He makes the right runs. Sometimes Chelsea don't pick him out. The players don't pick him up. But he's offside quite a lot. In front of goal, not confident, not good enough. And that is where we are with that, people. I'm still waiting to see what's happening with Gabriel uh, Slonina. That one should be done very soon. 10 million euros. A lot of people are against him for some reason. He's a youngster. He's a kid. Uh, what were you doing at 17, 18 years old, people? Like, why are we so judgmental on youngsters why do you watch twitter clips and be like yeah look i saw the twitter clip and obviously he's still young man he th these are the things that you learn from obviously you shouldn't be making these mistakes but you learn from these mistakes of course this is how you get better every single day he's not going to be second choice taking kepa sport or fighting for mendy's position no way that definitely would not happen he's a youngster probably go out alone it's to build a brand and improve and as always guys lots of sheep I have to ask a question. Does he stay next season? I'm trying to think. We're not signing a midfielder right now. We've seen other teams strengthen. We're looking at Sangari. Where is Loftus Sheik for next season? Ross Barkley as well. Ross Barkley will probably stay and collect his final paycheck for that much. So Loftus Sheik, does he stay next season? Yes or no? Good performance, man. Don't ever leave Chelsea. Never give up. Loftus Sheik, always. It's going to be a very, very interesting one with Loftus Sheik. We, I've not seen too much on outgoings, people. Not enough on outgoings um, so far. And also, we're looking at the Wolves left back, uh, which who could replace, um, what's his name, Mark Alonso. Obviously, you lot know me, Mark Alonso. I'm not really pushing that one, of course. Mr. Ryan, of course, he's been added to the list of targets. And this has come from Simon Jones, according to CFCPY. It's very reliable on that one as well. So, guys, let me know what you think about that. That is the first time we're speaking about him, so I'll do a lot more research on him and give you a full update on him very soon. But until then, if you guys can, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification. I've spoken about Mox Alonso so many times, so I didn't want to ramble on it too much. He said he wants to retire here at Chelsea if possible. If not, 
he has a two-year offer with Barcelona that he needs to consider as well. So, guys, it's going to be a very, very interesting summer window. If you guys can, like the video, as always. Help me get the 25k subscribers and tune in every single day. My whole trust, guys. I'm out. Peace. Back to work.